Hello, this is the Radio Geek. I just thought I'd show you guys a little something that I picked up at a ham fest earlier today. Um, this is a uh, known as a, a decade box. It's a resistance decade box. And this particular one is good for uh, 10 watts maximum. Um, this particular one is uh, made by um, CDE. as uh, Cornell Doubler Electronics Division. Um, and Federal Pacific Electric Company in North Carolina. Um, basically what you do is you can turn these knobs here and these have these really cool um, chicken head knobs and you just turn it to be 100 ohms and um, I'm getting 100.1 so we're right up in there where we're supposed to be. It's supposed to be 3% uh, resistors in here so um, 203, that should be 300, and 400, 500 ohms, 600 ohms, 700 ohms, 800, 900, and 1000 ohms there. And so what basically what it does is like once you get to 400, there's four resistors in there. There's a, a 100 ohm, a 200 ohm, a 300 ohm, and a 400 ohm. And there's a 1000 ohm, 2000 ohm, 3000, 4000 ohm. So once you get past 400, you're on the 400 ohm resistor. And then when you go to 500, you would have the 400 ohm and the 100 ohm in series with the configuration they have here on the switch. And then um, six... Um, would be three, the two, and the one, and so forth, to uh, make up these other resistances to uh, to a thousand ohms, and it works the same way on the other side. But they're just one thousand ohm, two thousand ohm, three thousand, and four thousand ohm resistors. So on this side, you've got your one k position here, two k, three k. 4K, 5K, 6K, 7, 8K, 9K, and 10K. So you can do it that way or you can combine them to come up with other resistance values that you want. Say that I wanted 2300 ohms or 2.3K. So I could put this one to the 2K and I'd move this one to the 300 ohm position. And that should give me 2.3K or 2300 ohms. So we got nearly that here on the meter so we're pretty close there. So that's what you can do with it. And it's good for up to uh, 10 watts of power. Um, I believe the 100 to 1000 range, you can have 100 milliamps of current. And 1000 to 10,000 side, you can have 50 milliamps of current. And they're all 30% resistors. Um, I'll, uh, I'll take it apart and flip it over here and show you what the inside looks like. This is what it looks like on the inside. This is that back uh, cover. Like I say, it's it's pretty substantial, that's for sure. Anyway, it just says um, uh, model RDB decade resistor, and it says resistances 100 to 1,000, 3 percent, um, 1,000 to 10,000, 3 percent. And then it's got a maximum current rating of 100 milliamps and 50 milliamps. So that's on the bottom. The label is still intact and in good shape. It had these little uh, like grommet style uh, foot pads with a screw in it. They got a little bit of cracking on them here, but not too bad, I guess, considering what it's how, what the age probably is on this thing. But it's a Bakelite, you can see this box, that's pretty thick, pretty thick box. Um, just 
were just way over engineered you know you could drop this thing off your desk and it'd probably survive I guess that was the idea but anyway you can see uh, some of these resistors inside um, this one is a um, 1000 ohm um, 3% they're all 3% resistors there's the 2000 ohm one and then this one uh, Let's see, it must be the 3000 ohm resistor, the labels flip the other way, and this is a 4000 ohm one, and I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's a, uh, um, looks like a, the brand is a Sprague, and it's called a Cool Ohm, K-O-O-L-O-H-M, must be, is there like trademark brand or whatever that the, uh, the Sprague uh, used apparently. And then over here on the the other side, you get the uh, the um, 400, 300, 200, and 100 ohm resistor, all 3%, and they're all uh, 10 watt resistors. And then you have the uh, rotary switches down here, and it just looks like they have a a piece of um, oh I don't know what it would be like a phenolic type material, and they just got the resistors poking through there with like little holes. And then it's very tightly uh, wired, like directly to those resistors, so um, can't really pull them all out. There's just not enough lead length to do that. You'd have to either unsolder it or or cut the lead to be able to do that. But um, very very well constructed and in very very nice shape. Um, very very clean um, layout. Looks like a good job on the assembly there. And like I say, it's a really sturdy, heavy piece of uh, um, test gear. So anyway, I just thought I'd uh, show that to you guys and uh, let you take a look at it. It's uh, it's pretty uh, pretty neat piece of uh, test gear. So until next time, this is the Radio Geek.